Hi geographers, welcome to this video about um, the living world. Particularly in this video, we're going to be having a look at nutrient cycling and how nutrients are moved around an ecosystem. First thing to understand about nutrients is that they are held in one of three stores within an ecosystem. The first being the biomass. This refers to all living things. So plants and animals all make up what we would call the biomass. So some nutrients are going to be held within those living things. The second store is what we call the litter. Now we're not talking about crisp packets and Coke cans, we're talking about um, dead material from that biomass. So when plants die, when animals die, um, or any other kind of decaying matter, maybe a bit of animal poo, that's gonna form part of that layer on the floor that we call litter. The third and final store is the soil pretty straightforward but once that litter has broken down it becomes part of the soil um, and that is our third store of nutrients. Now nutrients are constantly being moved between these stores and also moving in and out of them as well. So for example if the leaves fell from the tree they're going to end up on the floor and that's going to move nutrients from the biomass to the litter. Over time those leaves are going to be broken down by worms and wood lice and other decomposers and that decomposition is going to move the nutrients from the litter into the soil. It might be held there for a period of time and then eventually it's going to be taken up by the plants um, through the roots of the trees. It's going to become part of the biomass again. So we've got this constant cycle between the biomass, the litter and the soil. However, to complicate things a little bit more, some things can also add or remove nutrients from each of the stores. So the biomass, for example, if we were to chop the trees down, that process of deforestation, take those trees somewhere else, we're going to be losing nutrients from the biomass as a result of that, because we are going to be losing biomass. Likewise with the litter, we could actually add nutrients into the litter. When it rains, that water is going to have within it dissolved micronutrients. So those nutrients are going to be added into the litter as a result of the rain falling onto the ground. However, if there's lots of rain and that water is running over the surface of the soil, what we call runoff, that's going to be washing some of the nutrients out of the litter and washing them away. So rainfall can do a couple of things in regards to the litter. It can either add it into the litter if it's just a bit of light rainfall or if there's quite heavy rainfall that can actually wash some of the nutrients out of the soil sorry out of the litter um, same thing for the soil that actually we can add nutrients into the soil the most common way of this is through weathering so the rocks around us very slowly break down through weathering and those particles get smaller and smaller and that actually helps to make up um, the soil along with the decomposing organic material from the litter. So the weathering of rocks can add nutrients into the soil, but we can also lose nutrients from the soil in a process called leaching. Leaching is a little bit like runoff, where when we have very heavy rainfall and the soil gets saturated, it gets full of water, and the water is moving through the soil, maybe down a slope, that is gonna be dissolving nutrients from the soil into the water and carrying them away. So again, we can lose nutrients from the soil in that way. So just to summarise, we've got those three stores, biomass, litter and soil. The nutrients are moving between them constantly and they're also being added into or being lost from each of those stores by some of those processes.